Hi, welcome to All About Home Electronics. In this video, we're going to show you how to hide those unsightly TV wires for as little as $25. We're going to show you how to go from this to this, and at the end of the video, you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's fully completed. We're going to demonstrate the very easy steps to properly and quickly hide not only the electrical power wire, but the audio video cables as well and in as little as 30 minutes. This will work for whether you're a techie or you're just not a really super handy person. We're going to describe the parts that you want and the tools and we'll also put everything in the video's description below. Now if you haven't already, please subscribe using the button in the bottom right of this video and give the video a thumbs up. We'll begin right after this. So you're going to need some parts. On the right, that's the easy way to do this. On the left, that's the more affordable way to do it. So if you're super handy and you want to shop for the parts, you can pick up the parts shown on the left of your video screen for $25 to $30. Now we're going to show all those parts toward the end of this video and we're also going to list the parts list in the description below this video. But for now, we're going to focus on the part on the right. So what you see on your screen right now, this is an in-wall power cord and cable hider kit. We really like this. We've hidden wires behind TVs, and you can do it without the kit. Uh, we found this kit at Lowe's uh, for $44. We feel this is probably the best kit because it actually has the tool inside of it that you need. So if you don't have a lot of household tools, this is absolutely the way to go. And you can do this for in about 30 minutes. So we're going to check out what's inside the box so you just can see it real quick. These two power grommets come inside of the in-wall cable hide kit. The one on the top goes behind the television. The one on the bottom goes behind where your electronic wires go up into the wall and your power wire. The Romex is already pre-attached and it's a 5 foot length. The kit also includes the hole saw for a drill, and if you don't have a drill, that black handle right above the circular hole saw, you can just do it manually. Sheetrock cuts really easy. The other thing they put in the kit is this plastic fish tape. It comes in three pieces. You simply snap them together with those couplers and use it to hook the wires, and that way you can simply fish the wires up behind the wall. If you don't have the kit, then you got to find a metal coat hanger, cut it, bend it several times. This kit works fast. So aside from the instructions inside that kit, the last thing that comes in it is this six foot uh, power cord, which you're gonna use to plug one end into an existing electrical outlet, and the other end goes into the uh, circular base that you put in, it just plugs in. Step two, Clear your workspace and remove that television from the wall. Step three, select a location for those two circular wall plates. In this case, I already know where my wooden wall studs are. They're identified by the four shiny screws that fasten that TV wall mount to the wall. In this particular installation, I decided to locate the bottom wall plate directly center of the TV location and left of the electrical receptacle you see on your screen. I put together the hand tool that was supplied within the kit per the instructions, and within under a minute, I had my hole cut. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Some of the audio video cables that you're going to use come in fixed lengths, such as optical toss link cables. So I want to maximize by going the shortest distance possible. Now I chose a location for the upper wall plate that was slightly beneath the TV wall mount because the actual wall plate has a what we would call an escutcheon or a trim border around it. So we did not want to hit the actual TV wall mount, and we don't want to hit the stud, which is directly left of where we're cutting now. Now we checked the instructions that came with the kit, and they recommend that we use that plastic fish tape, push it up inside the wall, and first pull the electrical power wire. 
Now, you may or may not be able to notice in your video, but the wall that we're working on, it has insulation in it. So without the kit, if you were to try to fish these wires using, let's say, a metal coat hanger, that coat hanger, unless you bend the end over to a smooth, rounded corner, is going to poke up into the paper and insulation over and over. This is another reason this kit becomes such a wise, easy idea. The tips we found in the installation manual for fishing this Romex down through the hole, especially given that there's insulation in the wall, proved to be extremely useful. The hook's well designed. We straightened the wire before we fished it. The wire, for those who like to know, it's a 14-2. We went ahead and pulled four audio video wires. The first, coaxial television, then an HDMI, and two audio cables, a digital optical and an analog red-white. We pulled the audio video wires through the bottom plate and fastened it to the wall. After a quick little cleanup, we can go ahead and finish the last step. You may want an extra set of hands when you rehang the TV and make the cable connections. Now the next step, just a quick test. This is the completed project. This is how to hide your TV wires. Now I promised earlier in the video that I'd go over all the parts if you want to try to shop for them for $25 or $30. That'll be right after this. For the rest of you, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up and have a great day. Here are all those parts we showed you and we've mentioned that we'd cover toward the end of the video. We listed all these in the description under the video, so if you decide to shop for them, you can. And again, we picked them all up for between $25 and $30. Now, on your video screen, starting left to right, you first see two, well, actually a total of four blue electrical old work boxes. That is, you can cut a hole in your sheetrock and put those in. Then immediately to the right on the top is a recessed electrical receptacle. That's how you'd plug your television in to get power behind your TV. And then below it is another receptacle. Um, that's how you're going to ultimately use to get power up to the TV. And then sliding over more toward the center of your screen, again, you see the uh, third and fourth blue old work electrical box. And then in the middle, that Legrand clear package, that's how you decoratively uh, conceal the wires as they enter the wall to go up to the television and then at the top you can you can use one or two of these you can use one at the top one at the bottom or you can use a regular uh, decor a trim plate at the top because the TV conceals it anyway and then at the right and fundamentally the most important part of this whole process that's correctly safely by code getting the uh, power from down below behind the wall up to the TV. So we've got some Romex here. It's 14.2. It was like $7 for a 15-foot roll. And then at the bottom right of your screen, that's an extension cord.